Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Right, in this video let's see um, how to set up an AWS code commit repository and how to set up HTTPS or um, SSH credentials to access your kid, um, sorry code commit repository and then push your changes back to uh, the repository. Right, AWS code commit repository is a uh, git managed, uh, I'm sorry, git based uh, secure repository which you can use in your uh, pipeline or software development lifecycle. Uh, you don't have to configure or set up your own source control system so you can make use of AWS code commit which is git based uh, which is secure and you can do all the things that you can do with uh, uh, git repositories like git pull, tag, merge, request and so on. So uh, that's what we are going to do in this video. Let's dive straight in. So I've logged into my AWS uh, management console using my admin user account. So this is not the root user account, uh, the account uh, which you registered for the AWS um, account. So that's it's not the root account. So it's a separate user account that I've created with full admin access. So in this Learn AWS series, I think it's the second video that I did uh, about setting up an admin user. Uh, so it's always a good practice not to use the root account for anything. Okay, right. So I'm gonna search for code commit and there you go. So that's the code commit. I don't have any repositories at the moment. So code commit uh, is part of the, uh, the code pipeline DevOps tool so you can you have the code build code deploy and code pipeline so I'll be doing a separate video on a very simple demonstration of pipeline which you can expect uh, in the next video maybe okay so before that uh, let me show you the IAM user first so as I'm using the admin user I don't have to configure any specific permission or anything because admin user already has full access to code commit repository or code commit service. But if you're trying to use set up a new user or if you're trying to uh, use an existing user, you need to make sure that that user has appropriate permissions to access, to access the uh, code commit repository. Okay, so if I go to users, uh, and click on my username Venkatian and there is this policy attached administrator access and if I expand that policy um, you will see it has full access to every single AWS services I think except billing or something and if I scroll down you can see code commit full access okay because it's an admin user but if you are uh, attaching this uh, policy to a different user or some other user you're going to create, you need to make sure that at least one uh, policy is attached to that user that gives him access to the code commit service. So let me show you. Just assume this is a very normal user. I'm going to click add permission, attach existing policies directly, and I'm going to search for code commit. And there you go. So you have three policies uh, coming up. AWS code commit full access, so that's full access. You don't have any restrictions at all. AWS code commit power user, which means it has full access similar to the uh, full access role, but it doesn't let you delete any repository. So you can manage repositories, you can make changes, but you won't be able to delete any repository. And obviously there is read-only, so you have read-only access to any AWS code commit repository. So depending on your needs, attach any of these uh, policies to the user that wants to access uh, the code commit repository. All right. Okay, let's go back to code commit. And I'm going to create a repository. Let's give it a name. My first app, my demo repos, those are the uh, repository that I created earlier. Let's say my first repo description is optional if you want you can give description tags are optional but it's always a good practice to tag all your resources in AWS create tag okay sorry create repository okay repository is created so there are two ways to access your repository uh, from a terminal you can either use HTTPS protocol or you can use SSH protocol so I'll show you both the methods here um, whichever works for you you can use it and uh, let's see 
Okay, if I go back to repositories, now you can see my first repository and that's the HTTPS URL and that's the SSH URL, but we need to configure uh, the Git credentials in AWS Management Console before we can access it. Okay, so let, let me first show you how to access it using uh, HTTPS, right? So that's HTTPS and it has copied the HTTPS URL and if I open a terminal, uh, git clone and that's the HTTPS URL that I just copied for my code commit repository. It's going to ask me for a username and password, which we don't have. So that's the thing. We need to generate a Git credential so that we can use that to log in. Okay. Let me delete that one. And we need to go back to IAM and we need to generate Git credentials. Users, select your username, security credentials, and there are a couple of uh, ways. So one is SSH keys for code commit, and the other one is HTTPS. So first, let's look at HTTPS uh, Git credentials for AWS code commit. Okay, so I'm going to generate, click generate. At the moment, I don't have any Git credentials, so this is the first thing I'm generating, and it shows you your username and password. Your username is available, but your password is just one time, so make sure to copy that, or you can download the credentials as a .csv file, store it securely. Uh, you won't be given an option to uh, see this password next time. So you have to make sure to copy that somewhere, or again, you need to create a new pair of credentials if you lose it, okay? So let's say I'm going to copy that, for example. So that's my username. Let's copy that. Controls, did I copy that? Copy, paste it. So that's my username and that's my password. Okay. Right. Close that. We've generated our good credentials and now let's. Okay. So that's my. Uh, terminal, let's go back to the uh, code commit repository and copy the uh, git URL. So my first repo, so that's HTTPS, that's SSH. Okay, so HTTPS, I've copied that and now I'm going to git clone that repository. It's asking me for the username, which is this one. Copy and paste it password which is this one okay copy and paste it you appear to have cloned an empty repository that's fine but we have cloned the repository my first repo okay so cd to my first repo okay so we are in the my first repo git status on branch master okay git remote show so that's the https git code commit eu west 2 which is london region uh, my first repo okay so cool so we have downloaded uh, the cloned our git repository using https credentials but if you want to push it back let's say i'm going to add a file uh, echo hello world first file okay ls first file just created a simple file git status first file git add okay git status so we have that first file git commit minus m added the first file okay so now if i do git push it's going to ask me for the same username and password it's a little pain Every time you need to enter your username and password, if you're using the HTTPS protocol. Oh, sorry, wrong window. Okay, cool, so that's done. <coughs> um, git status, git log. Okay, so that's all there. And in the AWS Management Console, if I click my first repo, and there you go. So that's my first file, which I just uh, pushed to the GitHub. Sorry, pushed to the code commit. 
Okay, so that's how you do uh, via HTTPS. Okay, so let me close that one. Uh, as you can see, every time you need to git clone or git push, you need to enter your uh, username and password. So you need to remember or copy it somewhere. So that's not an ideal solution if you want to interact with code commit uh, very often in your daily life. So SSH provides an easy way. You create an SSH key, you upload your SSH key to AWS, and then every time you check out or push your code, it doesn't it's not going to ask you for password. It's going to use your uh, primary key and the public key you've already uploaded to the AWS. Okay, so let me show you that one now. Uh, let me delete this directory. R minus R of my first repo. Okay, that's downloaded. CD to dot SSH. So this is where I've got. So ID underscore RSA, ID underscore RSA dot pub. So those are the uh, set of key pairs. That's the private key. That's the public key. I'm using it for all other purposes. But for this demo, I'm going to use a separate key pair. I'm not going to reuse this same key pair. I'm going to use a separate uh, key pair. Okay. So the command to generate a key pair is SSH key gen minus T RSA type, whether RSA or DSA minus bits. 2048. I think that's the default, but I'm not sure. And then let's say uh, Venkat N AWS or AWS code commit. AWS code commit. Just, just an identifier. Okay. Enter file in which to save the key. So I'm going to say AWS code AWS code commit. Enter passphrase. I'm going to leave that as empty. Okay. And if I do here, AWS code commit and AWS code commit dot pub. So that's the private key and that's the public key. So this is the key that we are going to upload to uh, AWS. So let me cat that file. AWS code commit dot pub. All right, so that's the uh, file that we need to copy the content. Cat AWS code commit dot pub public key. Let me copy that. Copy everything. All right, so now if I go back to IAM, IAM, that's where you're going to add your SSH key. Users, select your user, select security credentials and under SSH key idea, SSH keys for AWS code commit, upload SSH public key and paste your public key. So upload SSH public key. So once you've done that, your public key has been uploaded to your uh, AWS account and SSH key ID. So that's very important. So that's your identification. Okay, so whenever you are going to SSH into any particular repository or anything, you have to use this as your username. So that's your SSH key ID. So I'm going to copy that. Okay, so again, I am inside uh, the dot SSH directory. Uh, I'm going to edit this config file. All right. So config file is where you specify uh, if you want to connect to this particular host, I'm going to use uh, this particular username or this particular private key and so on. So let's say host git dash code commit dot star dot amazon aws dot com. So for any host that starts with git dash code commit and he ends in amazon aws dot com, I want to use the user as the SSH key ID that I just copied. So git dash code commit, any access to git uh, dash code commit, I want to use this SSH key ID as my user. Okay. So since we have used a specific public key, we need to also specify uh, the private key that we are going to use. So identity file is going to be dot SSH AWS code commit. All right, save that file. So it's the config file under .ssh directory. So now you can do a quick testing, right? 
as such um, minus i or as such git dash code commit dot eu west dash two dot amazon aws dot com so since we are connecting to git dash code commit that starts with git dash code commit and ends in amazon dot aws dot code aws.com it's going to use this ssh key id and our aws code commit private key okay let's see if it works okay cool you have successfully authenticated over ssh so which means our private key and ssh key id and all our configurations are working fine so that's all we need so now we are good to um, clone our repository and push our changes so if i go back to code commit and if I select SSH and SSH URL has been copied. So now I can do git clone and now it's the SSH URL, not the HTTPS URL. It's not going to ask me for username and, uh, or password like it asked me when we use the HTTPS protocol. Okay, so cloning three objects, we are good. My first repo git status git remote minus v and now you can see the remote protocol is ssh so you don't have to worry about entering your username or password let's say let's edit this file vi first file hello world from just me and open source git status git add git status okay git commit minus m updated first file git push so if i do git push it's not going to ask me for username or password that's it cool we are done and if i click on my first repo on the aws management console and click on the first file cool so that's our updated file that's been pushed to aws code commit from our terminal using ssh keys all right, so that's it. I wanted to show you in this video, you can either use HTTPS or SSH uh, to interact with AWS code commit. The things to remember is the user that you are trying to use um, has to have the code commit uh, permissions uh, or policies attached to that particular user. So since I'm using the admin user, the admin user already has those access, those permissions to access the code commit services. So if you're using a separate user, make sure to update uh, the user policies to have the code commit repositories services. Okay. And then you have to generate SSH key and upload your SSH public key to AWS, or you have to generate HTTPS Git credentials and save it somewhere in a secure location. All right. Uh, if you've got any questions or any feedback, please leave me a comment. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And there are lots of interesting videos uh, waiting to be uh, released. All right. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.